The world has been a very difficult and strange place to live in these past few months. No football going on whatsoever and we're finally getting news of reports and reports of leagues getting cancelled. We have the League One being cancelled and now um, and we had the Ajax League being cancelled. But at the end of the day, what's the future of the Premier League? Let's see what will happen. What's up everybody, it's the Sports Code, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be based on what is the future of the Premier League season. That's Will it continue? Will it get voided? What's going to be the outcomes for Champions League spots and for relegation zones? There's a lot to discuss. So before we get started, I want you to please like and subscribe to the Sports Code YouTube channel. Turn notifications on, it will help out a lot to see more videos from me if you want to, and also it will just help me out a great lot if you were to like and subscribe the video. Anyway, we'll get started on the um, reason why this video is even being made by me. So uh, I would say two days ago, League One, which is the French League for anybody that doesn't know, has officially been cancelled by um, the, Fran the France government and they're imploring other leagues to cancel their season two. The reason why this has happened is basically because there's been a second um, wave of the coronavirus within a lot of these countries as um, people are not listening to the lockdown rules or because so much of the country has had it that it's just going to continue to overlap each other. So um, that's basically why the league has been cancelled. And um, the Ajax League has also been cancelled as well. And there are many, many more to come. So in saying this, what does that mean for League One? A lot of the French teams in there are going to be in grave danger of potentially going out of business. Might have to bulk sell and sell for a very, very cheap price in order just to stay afloat. This is going to be damaging the League One for a long, long time. And I don't know how they're going to recover. Obviously, you have PSG. PSG is going to be fine. Neymar and Mbappe, they're all going to be fine. They don't need to be sold. But the lower league teams, even the teams like Monaco, Lyon and Lille, they might have to sell because as good as they are, I don't think they're um, practically safe from this whole entire pandemic. So those teams might have to sell some of their best players for a cheap price, which means that um, it, for just for them to stay alive. Same with the Ajax League, man. There's not everybody safe there either. Ajax might not even be safe. And they're a pr pretty rich club as well. So um, that's that's going to be a devastating um, hit for both of those leagues. The television deals, obviously, they have to, um, they pulled out. They're not going to get the money from the TV deals because there's no football being put on TV. So moving on towards the Premier League now, will the Premier League follow suit? Will the Premier League get cancelled? Will the Premier League season get voided? And if it does, what will the positions be? Who will get the Champions League spots? Will Liverpool win the trophy? We'll, we'll get started on all of that. So first of all, I have to answer the question, do I think the Premier League season will get cancelled? I did a video like this, I would say a month ago. And the answer then was no, I don't think the Premier League season would get cancelled. And to be honest, I still stand by that. I don't think the Premier League season will get cancelled. But every single day that that this um, keeps being a topic of discussion, every single day this is getting worse and worse for many, many countries. Some countries, they are getting a little bit better and they can probably... Um, probably um, reduce the restrictions but a lot of these countries are not getting any better by this when they were supposed to be better by May and it just hasn't been the the it hasn't been the way it's gone so it, every single day this goes by without nothing happening then I think the season will eventually get cancelled man you have to give a, a limited amount of time you can't just wait until the end of the year for the season to continue if all these leagues around you are getting cancelled, it puts pressure on you to cancel your own. So what does that mean? Will the Bundesliga get cancelled? Because there's been a second wave of the coronavirus there. Will um, La Liga get cancelled and, and Serie A get cancelled? Because they have it the worst out of most countries. So that's so much to talk about. Um, for the for England, I, I don't live in England, so I don't know much about the whole coronavirus pandemic there. But I know that the Prime Minister of England had it. I know that... Um, there's been a lot of work being put out into helping the um, medical facilities within England because I watch a lot of English YouTubers. So I know that there is a lot of help, a lot of money being put in to help support them. And that's great. And that's making a big difference. But um, 
again, the, you can't stop a second wave, man. Uh, for many, many, um, many, many countries, this is going to be a huge stepping block and it's going to take a lot more than May and June and July to overcome. So will the Premier League season wait until September, October, November to go and play the rest of their season? I don't think they have the power to do that if every other league is getting cancelled around them. So, uh, for now, I'm going to stick by my answer. The, I don't think the Premier League season will get cancelled. But, as every day goes by, my decision on the matter is getting less and less. And I do think it, it will only be a matter of time before we can definitely say, alright, this season just might not continue. And we have to look into that as fans, as players. As anybody associated with a club, we have to look at that and as much as it's going to suck, you have to understand the seriousness of why it's being cancelled. And that's why, and that that's just why, um, it, it, that's why football is the, one of the most important things in the world. But it's not more important than life or death situations. So football can make a great impact on people's mental health. We've all seen this. Everybody's gone stir crazy since there's no sports from pretty much anywhere happening at this time. But um, at the end of the day, this is more serious than just sports. So we have to take, we have to um, respect and understand the decision of it being canceled. So my answer is still no. I'm just learning that. I'm gonna make that as uh, clear as possible. My answer on the matter is no. I don't think the Premier League season will get cancelled. I don't think the Premier League season will get voided. But every day that goes by, there is a good chance that it's going to increase and increase until eventually it's just going to be inevitable. So we'll see what happens with that. Now, let's go into what will happen if the Premier League season does get cancelled. So we have to talk about, will Liverpool win the title if, if um, the, the season gets cancelled? Because at the end of the day, Liverpool are far and ahead going to be the winners of the Premier League. And even though it's mathematically possible for Man City to catch up, let's be honest, guys. Man City will not catch up to Liverpool. All Liverpool need to do is like win one or two games and then they will be definitive, unmathematical champions of the Premier League. So how is it possible to um, deny Liverpool a, ch a championship. I'm a Man United fan. I would find this hilarious. I would actually make a video laughing just, a, just a, on the base of Liverpool not winning it. But you have to be real, guys. You have to be realistic. Liverpool deserved this more than anybody. If, if anybody deserved to get snubbed, um, it, it would be... Uh, if anybody deserved not to get snubbed, it'd be Liverpool. They were clearly leaps and bounds better than anybody in this league. They've only lost one game. You have to give respect where it's due. Liverpool are a hell of a team with hell of players, hell of a coach, hell of a structure. They deserve to win the Premier League title. But uh, you will have fans and you will have people argue that you just can't give them that league. That's a soft league to give them. You can't give them that title because this is mathematically possible for Man City to come back. So that's a big topic point of discussion there. And it's the same with the relegation battle. You have teams that have that are in the relegation zone that can clearly and clearly have the position to get out of it if they could just put the right team together and the right playing style together. However, for those teams, there's a good potential that that, that might not happen for them. They might end up having to get relegated because the season might end so this is there's a difference between voiding the season which making it obsolete completely that we go back and restart the season from the start which basically means that everything that happened this year will happen again so man united would still be in the europa league arsenal would be in the europa league chelsea would make the champions league tottenham would make the champions league but if you cancel the season does the season necessarily stay where it is so whoever is in from first to fifth uh, makes the Champions League because Man City have a ban or will it be um, that that Norwich get relegated Aston Villa and Bournemouth get relegated we don't know we, we seriously don't know so that's a big topic of discussion as well does the Premier League season get cancelled or voided do we stay where it is or do we go back to where last season is because there are too many unsolved answers in this season that we needed to continue in order for it to um to find out exactly what was going to happen this is going to be a season based on unfulfilled questions if it does get voided because we'll never know if man united would have made the top four we'll never know if tottenham managed to make a comeback into the champions league we'll never know if norwich bournemouth aston villa or who, who we will never know who gets relegated and as much as we all would like to think 
Liverpool will win the title, basically we will never know if Liverpool actually would have won that title. They would have, let's be real. But those are, those are, those are really hard um, questions to answer. And how can, are we just going to make a, a, a prediction or are we just going to leave it the way it is? And bad luck for those teams that um, have a game in hand but are still in the relegation zone because at the end of the day, this season's cancelled, we've got to move on to the next one. So th 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 that could be the outcome of having a very bad um, Premier League voided season or, or, or cancelled season. These are the outcomes that will happen. A lot of teams will find it unjustified, unworthy. A lot of teams will say that it just should have never happened. At the end of the day, this is more serious than football. So teams will have to respect and understand that um, no matter if they got screwed or not, this is for the benefit of the country. And playing sports, allowing people to attend sports, people going and watching outside the stadium when they're not supposed to, because that's going to be a big problem as well. As well as the protection and safety of these stars that, um, that clearly need it as well. Physical sports, especially if someone is sick, can impact the entire team. The entire team. And that's why the season got voided, got... Um, stopped suspended in the first place because you had players getting this virus and you cannot go without assuming that one of those players will eventually get the virus again i don't see that happening i see someone getting that virus and then the whole team's in jeopardy then the whole team that they verse is in jeopardy and they might find it too late and then all the premier league will be in jeopardy and uh that's what we're trying to avoid here so we're we're just waiting to see what will happen. And um, I hope there's been news, of course, by the end of May, we're going to go back to training. We're going to have a final decision by the end of, um, we're going to be starting with three dates, the start of May, the end of May and the start of June and all of this. We have all these dates, but nothing to show for it at the moment. So hopefully with time, with um, a lot of effort from both fans and players to stay safe and to stay home and to stay healthy keep the spirits up and um think positively we might get our season back we might get the end of this season but i, I wouldn't give my hopes up now like i still think the season will continue but i i strongly feel like this season will have a lot of controversy if it continues so we've got to be very well prepared but football is football, man. As much as I love seeing Man United players from the past destroying teams against Juventus and Arsenals and the Chelsea's of the world and the Man Cities, uh, as much as I really enjoy watching these past games, I don't think anything beats present football. I don't think anything beats the unexpectedness of a goal or the unexpectedness of, um, of, a, of a brilliant play, a brilliant tackle, a penalty kick and all of this. Like nothing beats that thrill of a live football game. And as much as the past games show how good we were, at the end, that's not what I'm, I'm not bothered about the past because the past is the past. Uh, and I want to be focused on the future of this club, getting back to where we should be, getting back to our future. And hopefully we can, we can do that effectively and efficiently with the season going on. And hopefully other leagues don't suffer the same fate League One did. But I feel like the worst is yet to come for a lot of leagues and we'll be here to report about it. So that's the end of the video. I want to thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Sorry for the basically, um, it was a very sad video, I guess. Very, um, not much positivity coming into it. But at the end of the day, we only, we're only trying to figure out the best solution for people, not for sports. Sports come second to people's lives. And that's, the, that's what they're trying to figure out. They're trying to figure out people, um, people's lives over sports and as much as uh, Donald Trump wants sports back and I'm sure the England government wants sports back and all these all these governments want sports back at the end of the day that's not their top priority and sometimes you have to make sacrifices for the better of the world so in saying that have a wonderful and safe day guys stay safe stay healthy take care